Okay, so rhythm guitar parts for the chain. So, a bit of paper. So, So at the start of the song, in the introduction, our intro, your intro, is shorter than the lead guitar one. You don't play for the first, uh, like, four bars, I think, so if I show you what I mean. So it starts with this, if you can hear that, then you go... our intro. So essentially what you've got is five lots of so if you don't know what the little arrow and the MB means that's a string bend and the MB stands for micro bend. You hear that? So it's a bluesy technique. I'm sure some of you will know what uh, will have had me explain them to you before but just in case you haven't. Got five lots of them, and on the very last one, you have got quite a tricky bit, so you're going to go like this. So you've got open, and then on the E string, then open on the G, two on the E, open on the D, two on the A, two on the D, and then. going into the verse. So the verse goes like this. So you've got... So, that is just an open E power chord, then you just do the A and the D string open, and then do an open E power chord again. Then you can just move your two fingers down a string to play A sus2, then you go into this position, so just these two fingers, the middle and the, no, index and the ring, and you go... Oh no, one, two, sorry, um, on D sus2, one, two, three, four, then C major, and then you're going to go, so again, micro bend on the E, uh, th third fret of the E string, and then open E power chord, so you've got, and then we're going to do that thing that we did at the start, at the end of the intro. So you've got... Chorus goes like this. So you've got A minor. minor, C major, D sus2. Then you break for this bit, because it's just the lead guitar doing the intro. Then you come back in with... Sorry, I was meant to do a bit there where I go... Then you do this again. And then you go back into a verse. The bridge um, is physically impossible to do in terms of this with well with this tuning. 
standard tuning. Lead guitar is with a capo on the second fret and in an auto tuning. Um, so if I try and find it in the song, the bit that I'm on about. Not that bit, that's the guitar solo. This bit. So like before the guitar solo. So don't do anything for that bit. Just let the... Uh, so at the end of the chorus be like... I can still... No. I can still hear you say it. You would never, never break the chain. Just let that ring out. The outro... You can literally just do... In fact, this is what happens in the song. There is a keys part, obviously the famous bass guitar part, and the famous guitar solo. Underneath, in the mix, low down, there is an acoustic guitar going So you could just do that, um, but I've tabbed this. So I've put the bass line in there as well. So you've got two strums on A minor. E minor. Um, that's it for rhythm guitar for this song. So um, yeah, cool.